Indecisive, unfit for office, a trolley. Dominic Cummings' brutal verdict on Boris Johnson. I had growing doubts on an hourly basis. It was another day of eye-popping evidence at the COVID inquiry. The former PM's former policy chief describing a dumpster fire of a government in disarray. By the 11th, my view was, I've got a, an appalling feeling that I'm in one of those like historic catastrophes. From Cummings came a catalogue of damaging allegations, not least the PM's view that old people should simply accept their fate in the face of the virus. We unpick the evidence. Also tonight... Dozens are dead in Gaza after an Israeli airstrike on a crowded refugee camp. Here, officially banned, XL bullies will be illegal from February, with owners reimbursed if they have them put down. At seven... Yesterday. As demand soars for temporary housing, we meet the families evicted with little warning and nowhere to go. A special report on the growing homelessness crisis. And... Yangu, Kua Nani Jioni Yaleo. The King's speech in Kenya regrets, but no apology for Britain's colonial past. This is the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. We heard extraordinary evidence at the COVID inquiry today alleging that Boris Johnson thought older people should simply accept their fate with the virus, an attitude which the government's then scientific advisor, Sir Patrick Vallance, described in his notebooks as bonkers. The former Prime Minister also came in for scathing criticism from two of his former top aides. Dominic Cummings, once Mr Johnson's closest policy adviser, described him as a trolley because of his indecisiveness and the heart of government a dumpster fire with the wrong people in the wrong jobs. Our political editor Robert Peston listened to the evidence. Well, there is plenty more still to come in the ITV Evening News, including... Staying open for business, controversial plans to close hundreds of rail ticket offices in England are scrapped. Underwater and under pressure, parts of the UK facing more extreme weather. And the lack of temporary accommodation, leaving desperate families homeless. I cried myself to sleep, to be honest, because I was a bit free kids on the street. Like, didn't know what else, to, what else I was meant to do. More than 100 local councils have met with government urging it to act and we will bring you more on that and the rest of the day's news after the break. See you then. Hello again, welcome back. Five members of a grooming gang that exploited and sexually abused two young teenage girls were handed sentences totalling over 70 years today. The court heard how the victims, aged just 13 and 14 at the time, were plied with alcohol and drugs before being abused by the men between 2002 and 2006. Kelly Foran was in court. OK. Fred Dimbleby in Jersey and Eden Wilson in Newry. Thank you both. Well, Alex is here, um, and you're nodding throughout that. I mean, it's not looking good, is it? Because we've no. already we're already yeah. reeling from the last one. It is, yeah, it is worrying. Obviously, you know, the remnants of Storm Babette are still kind of in place in some parts of the country, particularly in the north. This storm is going to be focused uh, across the south. Uh, but I have to point out that the accuracy of the warning uh, by the Met Office have been spot on. So please do take heed, do listen to them. They will save lives ultimately. Okay. Alex, for the moment, thank you very much. And uh, Alex will, of course, be back with the rest of the weather forecast, as usual, a little bit later in the programme. But in the meantime, you're watching the ITV Evening News. It is pretty much exactly seven o'clock. Here what's still ahead before Emmerdale. A royal visit to Kenya addressing the scars of colonialism. There were abhorrent and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans. And for that, there can be no excuse. 
Saudi Arabia takes pole position to host football's biggest names on the biggest stage, despite concerns over its human rights record. And... You've got your Cockney rhyming slang, your apples and pears, stairs, your dog and bone, phone, your kettle, which is your watch. <laughs> the accents of many generations that could now be lost to history. But before all that, how a huge rise in demand for temporary accommodation is fueling a new crisis in housing. More than 104,000 households in England are currently in temporary accommodation. That's a record number. It's prompted 150 local councils to meet today to ask for extra government funding. But for some families, the suffering does not end. Evicted even from their temporary homes, sometimes with very little notice, they're left literally with nowhere to go. Daniel Hewitt met two desperate families trying to cope at the sharp end of the crisis. Still to come on the programme, the changing accents defining modern Britain. Why Cockney catchphrases could become a thing of the past. And Storm Kiron is expected to arrive late tomorrow, bringing winds in excess of 80 miles per hour. Several warnings are in place. I'll have the latest in a couple of minutes. I'll do Jean-Mi and Alex for that after this short break. See you then. Hello again. After the warning about Storm Kieron earlier, Alex is back with the full forecast and it's looking pretty nasty, isn't it, Alex? It is, and it is a case of, you know, watching this storm very closely as it develops. As we know, there are several warnings in place and it comes not long after Storm Babette and the ground is still heavily saturated in parts of the country. Heinz Tomato Ketchup, no added sugar and salt, sponsors ITV National Weather. So we're going to know a lot more this time tomorrow. It will be knocking on the door of the southwest. OK, Alex, thank you for that. And finally, we learned today that one of the best known symbols of English life is apparently in danger. It's not a building, a painting or indeed something from the country's wildlife. It seems that the Cockney accent is dying out. Along with the King's English at the other end of the scale, the way we speak and sound is changing. Ellie Pitt explains. Well, that is just about all from us for now. On the day that Boris Johnson's leadership has come under renewed scrutiny at the COVID inquiry, following evidence from some of his former closest aides, his ex-chief advisor Dominic Cummings claimed vulnerable groups had been appallingly neglected. Well, Tom will be here with news at 10. But in the meantime, from me and all at the evening news team, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.